ambience is perfect. Hey, leave the candle alone. It's the only thing that provides light in here when the generator goes on the fritz. Locked. Hi. Ah, a new customer. Welcome to Gulliver's Gully. I'm Gulliver. If you need to use the bathroom, let me know, and I'll give you the key, the flashlight, and the wolf repellent. We assume no liability for damages caused by the peanuts on the counter. So, what can I do for you? Gulliver's Gully doesn't sound terribly inviting. My customers aren't used to being invited anywhere. Who would want to invite thieves and smugglers? Or people with infectious mouth diseases? Now, if you're looking for an inviting ambience, you'd better go uptown, kid. It's pretty dark in here. Well, that's a good thing. Most of my regulars aren't a pretty sight. But unfortunately, yeah, it's the salty air. Almost the same effect as sugar in the tank. Odd, isn't it? What else is there to see in the floating black market? Don't tell me you're a tourist. In that case, you'd better go uptown, assuming they let you in. Downtown is reserved for smugglers, fences, gamblers, and pirates. For a special thrill, I recommend watching the platypus pataka in the market arena. However, fighting only takes place when two squabblers are going after each other. What else is there to see in the floating black market? Don't tell me you're a tourist. In that case, you'd better go uptown. A downtown a special thrill, however. Can't the jukebox play a different song for a change? What do you mean? It plays a different song all the time. Are you sure? It does sound pretty familiar, you know. Leave my jukebox alone. Nothing but classics in the playlist. My favorite is the mating song of the junk crabs, but only when the door's closed. I have enough complaints about crab bites as it is. I, uh, need to use the bathroom. Then you should sign this waiver first. A waiver? I hereby confirm that I am not entitled to seek damages against Gulliver, Gulliver's Gully, or Splash Me Toilet Outfitters in the case of blah 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 hair loss, chemical burns to the nasal mucous membranes, blah 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 blah, spider bites, rat bites, wolf bites, blah 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 blah, leprosy, psoriasis, or any kind of curse inflicted by indigenous tribes? Who would sign this nonsense? Well, the owner of the drugstore, for one. Is he suicidal? No. Uh, blind. Using this bathroom is also a popular test of courage. I mean, popular with those who are named in the will. Garliff up there currently has a bet going on with his buddy, Lebo. But, uh, I don't think he's gonna do it. He's still got plans. Yeah, well, I have a plan, too. I'm planning not to act like a coward. Hand me that pen. You don't have to do this. You know that, right? I've never done things I had to do. Well, then, good luck. When your urge to go becomes stronger than your sense of self-preservation, you can ask Gala for the key. I'll do that. A drink, please. Have you got any money? Well, uh... I thought so. <laughs> I mean, just look at you. Uh, why does everybody always say that? Come back when you've got money. Transients don't get a tab here. Uh, I've got a few questions regarding your regulars. Spit them out. Don't you ever run into problems with the Organon? To me, it looks like everyone here is doing whatever they want. That's right. The authorities leave us alone here. Porta Fisco is far away, and the magnetic train route runs along the coast. That's how the floating black market was formed in the first place. We're always in places where the Organon doesn't look. And if I told you that it won't stay that way for long? Then I would tell you to go join Janosch and his resistance windbags. Only an idiot would believe in that conspiracy crap. Do you know Captain Bozo? Sure! He drops anchor here on a regular basis. 
I think he's got something going on with the owner of the weapon store in Little Venice. She won't break your heart. She'll perforate it with a repeating laser. And Bozo has a thing going with that fury? I can hardly imagine how that would work out. Go on, tell me about Bozo's girlfriend again. I think he's got something going on with the owner of the weapon store. She won't break your heart. She'll perforate it with a repeating laser. And Bozo has a thing going with... I can hardly imagine how that would work out. That's it for now. Yep, that was definitely enough. See you later. Come back when you're serious about buying a drink. May I bother you again? Aren't you going to do that anyway? <laughs> Got a point there. Have you got the key to the tavern bathroom? Yes, but I still need it. I have this bet going. You bet that you would use that bathroom? Uh, yeah, but I simply haven't worked up the courage yet. Scares the crap out of you, does it? That's what I'm waiting for. I'll be off then. See you around. This generator provides the tavern with electricity. It's pretty careless, setting it up out here, where any random well-meaning citizen can kick it, stick bananas in the exhaust, or pour sugar in the tank. I don't see a switch. Eh, no matter. With a little technical know-how, it shouldn't be a problem. Turn off! Huh, wish I could remember. Is sugar in the tank good or bad for the engine? Well, there's only one way to find out. Ah, right. It was bad. Thought so. <laughs> it's really dark here, but not so dark that I'll have to use my legendary sonar hearing. After all, I have the brightest eyes in the whole southwest quadrant. <laughs> Breathing all that mercury vapor when I was a kid is finally paying off. May I bother you? Just as long as... But everything's dark here. Precisely. I'll be off to around. Oh, ha! Oh! Nothing happened. <laughs> hey, leave the candle alone. It's the only thing that provides light in here when the generator goes on the fritz.
Yeah, <laughs> somebody should tell them that polka dots are totally out. You who? What? Where? So, what do you sell here? What does it look like? Well, no, seriously, what does it look like? I'm blind, you know. I see mostly mind-altering substances, illegal drugs, and questionable medications. Oh, oh good, that's all right then. This is my drugstore, apparently. How may I help you? I would like to buy something. That's good. That's very good. What will it be? I would like a plus five healing potion. Sorry, all sold out. But I have some antidotes on sale. Nah, never mind. I'll save my money then. What's in that bottle back there? Undiluted ethanol with antifreeze? Tastes all right, really. I used to drink that a lot until I was eventually no longer able to find the bottle. Have you got any sedatives? Yes, but you need a prescription. I've got a prescription right here. That's not a prescription. That's a button you tore from your coat. Are you quite sure about that? Listen, I may be blind, but I'm not dumb. Well, maybe you should get a second opinion. Are you giving away anything for free? Not really. The only thing I could offer you is a sample of this new plant. It contains various mind-altering substances that have never been tested on humans. Incredibly dangerous. Absolutely illegal. And the possible side effects are both unpredictable and unspeakable. But it's free. Yes, but... In that case, can I have it? Not so fast. You can only have the Cucumis Agnito in exchange for a free coupon. Cucu... What? Cucumis Agnito. The cucumber of revelation. The active ingredient is in its juice. Unfortunately, the shell is very hard. Hard shell, dangerous content, unpredictable side effects. Oh, ho, just like me. Won't you let me have a free cucumber? Only for a coupon. Ah, oh, great. And where would I get one of these coupons? From the free pharmacy magazine, of course. But I don't see a free pharmacy magazine here. Neither do I. But do you hear me complaining? It's prominently displayed here somewhere. No, it's not. When I took my break earlier, one copy was definitely still there. I tested a new laxative, and suddenly everything had to go very fast. And you took the magazine to the bathroom with you? What for? To read the cartoons? Ever heard of Braille? Also, Gulliver's Tavern is always out of toilet paper. So, where do I get a coupon? From the free farm. It's no, I suppose. Ah, nothing. You get what you. You're blind? How come? Let's put it like this. I should have read the directions for use while I still could. Wait a minute. What is that? Uh, uh. Boo boo boo! Peek a boo! Get lost! I'm new here. Are there any sites you would recommend? Very funny. I'm blind. Just in case you hadn't noticed. Hey, nobody's perfect. Nobody but me! Hmm. From here, you know, you've got a great view of the marketplace. Oh, that explains a lot of the noises I've been hearing lately. What do you hear then? Any news or exciting rumors? Sorry to disappoint you, but that rhythmic background music drowns out everything. Except for occasional cheering coming from the arena. Mm, I've noticed that music too. I wish it were possible to switch it off somehow. Too bad I've run out of earworm repellent. Have you been to Bellevue recently? Very funny. Uh, I've been wondering about that myself. All I know is that it's a cauldron-shaped pit in the center of the marketplace. Some kind of sporting competition is held there, involving platypuses, I think, and water. Water? Yes. Luckily, they've now built a railing around the arena. See you later. Not if I see you first.
da 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 Roo refuse, roo roo refuse, roo refuse, super super defuse. <laughs> hey, you can say what you like about those black market bums, but they have good taste in music. It seems to be a colony of junk crabs. Cute. It's empty if you don't count all the creepy crawlies. <laughs> That isn't the secret knot. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. The secret knot goes. <laughs> you fool! Now you've given it away. Let me in. First, the knot. All right. Now can I come in? No. Wait. I got that wrong. That was the old knot. What? But I know it's a shame we changed it. The old one was much easier to remember. Nevertheless, we're using the new knot now. And how does it go? It's a secret. Oh, darn it! A uh, great. Hey, hello. What do you mean, blah, the nerve? Empty, empty, except for the bird droppings. I've never seen such a snooty door sensor. Go, go, Rufus, rubber arm! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, that always worked.